I'm Gabrielle Collins, and I'm your behind-the-scenes guide to Bridgerton. On Bridgerton, the official podcast, we're talking to the creators, the artists, production teams, cast, crew, about how Bridgerton came to life. Listen to Bridgerton, the official podcast. Thursdays starting February 18th on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you get your favorite shows. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, my man loves being in the doghouse. Wait till you guys hear that one. All right, Mm. but right now, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? Yesterday was Father's Day. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw this one up for my pops right here. Can I have your kidney? Can uh, I have That was his favorite. Huh? Kidney. That was pops' favorite right there. Let's yeah, run it, baby. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Brother Conley. This is Conley. Uh, how you doing, brother? This is Deacon Patterson calling from the church. How you doing today? Uh, Deacon Patterson? Yeah. Just doing fine, and yourself, sir. I'm doing good, doing good. You know, the church is behind you on what you're going through, and we we praying for you, man. We know all about the, you know, you going uh, into surgery on Friday to get your to get your pancreas removed. So I wanted to give you a call, man, have a word of prayer, and let you know that we all are, are pulling for you, and we know that, that the man upstairs is going to pull you through this successfully. Well, God bless and keep you uh, there, Deacon. God bless and keep you, because I tell you, I'm going through something here. Me and my wife, we've been talking about it, and uh, we've been praying on it, and it sure is a wonderful thing to, to know that your church is with you and, and y'all thinking about me in prayer. I've, I've, I've really had to take this, this to the Lord. I, this is a serious thing with me, and uh, I ain't never had an operation before in my life, and right, I right. know I need it. My wife has made it clear. The doctor has made it clear, and I believe I'm ready to go forward, Deacon. And we're going to give the victory to who the victory, the victory is to the Lord. Yes, sir. He's, he's uh-huh. the victory. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me have a word of prayer with you, Brother Conley, if you don't mind. Uh, just bow your head for me. Father God, we ask right now. We yes, ask sir. right now that you touch Brother Conley as he goes in on Friday. Please, Lord. Put your hands on him. We ask, Father, that you hold on to the doctor that's getting ready to go and put surgery on him. Yes. We ask that you make sure that the doctor has got a, a strong eye hmm. on that morning. Walk with him. We ask that, that, that he got a steady hand when he got the scalpel in his hand. We ask that you hold on to him, please, as yes. he goes into a surgery, because we know come Saturday morning, yes. <laughs> the victory going to belong to Brother Conley and the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know yes. all of this, but we, we, we ask that you take that pancreas and you remove it out successfully, please. close him back up like it was never been entered in before. Walk with me, Jesus. That's what we ask, and we ask you, Lord, at the same time, Yes. That they're removing this pancreas, Lord. We ask that you reach around his backside. And we ask that you touch his kidney, Lord. Touch his kidney and make it whole. Make it 110%. We want you to make that, that kidney like it's been the best kidney Excuse ever me, known. Deacon. Deacon. That's Deacon. Deacon. Who? Pat Deacon Patterson. Yes. Yes, uh, yes sir. Ain't, ain't, no, sir. There, there's nothing wrong with my kidney, Deacon. I'm but, doing I'm doing fine. The Lord, is, the Lord has done made it. Well, he's going to work on my pancreas. That's what the doctors operate on. They done oh, prepped oh. me for it, and that's what they plan to remove. So uh, really? they, my kidney is fine. They did what they called one of them MRIs, and everything else is fine. They ain't working on nothing but my pancreas, sir. Right, right, right. Well, let, well, let, let, me, let me say, I'm glad you brought that up. This, 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 this wasn't the reason why I called you. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, and of course, I did call to pray for you. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, because I want to make sure that, 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 that you make it through this successfully. But one another, another reason why I'm getting around to this here is... Uh, uh, what I want to ask you, and I know we, we, you know, we've never met face to face. I've seen you a couple of times, like I said, at the church, but you've been out most time uh, with, you, with your sickness and, and whatnot. But now, mm-hmm. what, what what I was going to ask you was, yeah, is, is, and, and I know this is, I hate to come at you in the final hour when you're getting ready to go have surgery and all that, but if, if you don't mind, if if you could see it in your heart to to, to see to do something for somebody else, yes, sir. Uh, that's that's the Lord's will. You always supposed to help those who can right, to right. Do but, it. And I'm glad you you think like that. Mm-hmm. Now, when they go in on Friday morning and and remove that pancreas out, do do you think that 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 that, that they could go in and and get one of your kidneys? Cause I need one. Hold hold on just a minute, Deacon. What yeah. you say? 
What, what you say? See, 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 see. What else? See, I've been going through myself with a, a little ailment, and 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 I'm wondering if, if if I need a kidney, and I'm wondering if you can give me one of yours when they go in to get your pancreas. They gonna already have you open. Did you say you wanted them to take one of my kidneys? Yeah, and give it to me because I need one. You need a kidney. Yeah. What? What? what I mean, you already gonna be laying there open. Wait a minute, Mister. You need a kidney. I need help with my pancreas. You gonna call me with some <laughs> like that, man? This ain't no work of the Lord. Now, you say, are you a deacon? Yeah, deacon yeah, uh, yeah uh, uh, like I said, Deacon Patterson, my name. But see, what I'm asking you is, uh, what, no, what you harm ain't is asking it? me, man. Bro Brother Conley, what harm is it if you already open and laying on the table? Oh, you ain't heard a damn thing I said, have you? I said, I'll be, man, you crazy as hell. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to need to call the pastor. Because, see, it's a going on here. You say you knew? You man a damn new, mister. Matter of fact, you too damn new to know who you're talking to. What, what, what I'm saying is, you have two, ki two like you said, you say they did the MRI. And you're I don't that. give a f what I said they did, man. I got two kidneys, you got two. One of yours is bad, that's your f problem, mister. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to get well, and you calling with this f You say you a new deacon. You damn sure is, and you won't be at that church long. I tell you that, because if I ever get close to your sister, we got some reckoning to do. What is it going to hurt for you to give me one of them kidneys if both them, if both them kidneys is good? It ain't going to hurt them thing, because you ain't getting my kidney, man. It ain't going to hurt what, what is wrong with you? Say, man, all I'm saying is if you're going to be open and laying on the table, what is it going to hurt for I you to no. give me one? Oh, now you're going to tell me I'm open and laying on the damn table. What kind of a prayer are you in charge of, mister? Let me tell you something. Obviously, I need to meet you before I get to the hospital. And maybe I can help take out that damn bad kidney of yours. I can tell you that. We can it out. You won't feel a damn thing. How about that? I'll be damned if you're going to call and talk me out of one of my damn kidneys, man. I'm trying to live just like you trying to. Let the Lord take care of me because what you're talking about ain't got a damn thing to do with Jesus. You can kiss my and get off my phone. That's what you can do. Can I say one more thing to you? What? Is you listening to me? Man, I don't listen to you and you ain't talking about nothing. That's got nothing to do with what's going on with me, mister. You running a game? If I could get to you, I'd put lead in your say, you I, But can I just say one more thing, and then I'm going to let you go. Is you listening? For what? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your daughter. Oh, Lord have mercy. That girl, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Are... <laughs> hey, you all right? Brother Conley. Man, man, you done made me use language that I swear I don't know about. I heard my neighbors them using that. I done stopped a long time ago talking man. that way. Please forgive me. Lord have mercy. I, woo. Y'all, I'm going to have to. Lord have mercy. My heart is palpating here. Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> Mister, this ain't me. This ain't me. And you, i tell you what. And I, I, I enjoy Steve Harvey and Nephew Tommy. I do. Brother Conley, I got to ask you one more thing, man. What is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? It's got to be. It's got to be y'all. <laughs> it's got to be y'all. Hell, I don't even remember the name of it now. The Steve Harvey Morning. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Lord help us. I ain't going to forget it now. I prayed that thing at the beginning, didn't I? I was praying that thing now. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, if you, well, why you open? <laughs> this you open. Uh -huh. You don't mind if they just reach around there. And let me get one of them kidneys, because I need one. You don't mind, do you? Mm -hmm. Get smooth, cussed out by a deacon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> That's it. Crazy. Get ready, y'all. This I start, let me say this, I'm shooting Ready to Love. I start Sunday. So it is time your nephew is going into production for Ready to Love on the OWN Network. And I start Sunday night. Y'all see, y'all wish me luck, and I'm dropping the weight. I'm, I'm getting it down. I will be 185. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Go Oh, you you take that off your plate. That ain't going to do nothing, dog. Just go on and be a star. Good. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's great advice, plate. Steve. Yeah. No, for real. You take that off your plate. Ain't nobody tuning in to see if you... You think I'm going to be a fat? You think I'm going to be a fat? Nobody tuning in to see if you ate a 12-pound lighter. Nobody. <laughs> I love that advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, nobody. All right, well, nephew, thank you. Uh, coming up next, it is today's Strawberry Letter. My man loves being in the doghouse. We'll get into it right after this.